On behalf, of, <clears throat> on behalf of all Maine's poets, I want to begin by thanking Janet Mills for bringing poetry to this inauguration. <clears throat> The Song for the Unsung. Let us sing a song for the unsung, for the Maine muskrat, whose name misunderstands the beauty of its sleek tail and its small, delicate ears. And for the ground moss that brings forth tiny red blossoms each summer that we do not see, though they are right there at our feet. Let us sing for what we have overlooked, the simple faith of the gardener in an overcoat, opening the barren ground of October for tulip bulbs, and of the teacher who finds in the student's failure the opportunity to start again. And let us sing for the hopeful starting again of the doctor who sits with the repeat patient in recovery, and for the single mother who begins each day by leaving her children behind for the job that will support them, and for the immigrant father with two jobs and a dream of bringing his family to a new life in Maine, already a Mainer himself in his perseverance. For the song we will sing is not only about faith and hope, but persistence in spite of the odds. Like the tenacity of the main town moderator who read the warrant article so forcefully that he spit out his upper plate, <laughs> then caught it in midair, popped it back into his mouth, and carried on. That unsung moderator deserves a song as does this gathering of public servants tonight, including a legislature with 72 women who have themselves persisted against the odds. And a female governor, also a poet, whose most, whose most sustained an inspiring song in the service of teachers and students, doctors and patients, parents and kids, new citizens and Mainers everywhere is about to be sung. <laughs> 